Hi guys, it's me Toffee Dog and we are, and I'm just checking this is working, what has happened is they have now released their English version of the Japanese trailer they released uh, yesterday. Now yesterday's video didn't quite go to plan because I said something that was a bit out of place and so my video got blocked. So I'm hoping this time, I am a bit reluctant to record, I'm not going to lie, but I feel like as long as I just don't use any sarcasm, I should be good. But we're going to see the EU trailer, well not the, well I call it EU trailer because it's in England and English and we'll probably get some more specific information. So this is on Nerdist, this is on a website, this is the first website that came up about the information. And also I'm going to give you guys a bit more of an uh, in-depth opinion about the Pokemon. This analysis is still going to happen. We might as well get on and watch the trailer. Okay, this is... Ah, uh, okay. So, this is the Guardian of the Island, which I guess is one of the four, I believe. I believe they showed a map of four. And I'm not going to lie, at first I wasn't over keen on it. But I think with all these Pokemon, they've kind of grown on me a little. I really like this Pokemon where it closes up. Maybe in um, full form, like this, when it's got its wings or its those sections out, it's not so great. But I love it when it's sort of fast to go. Okay, this is what I mean right here. This is, I really like it when it's in here. And I must admit, I think I would love to see it in a 360 view, which they do show us. Um, oh gosh, I'm going to try and pronounce this. I apologise if I pronounce this wrong. Tabu Coco. I'm going to say Coco because that's how I pronounce it. And it's Electric Fairy. So that's a really cool typing. I understand the electric. I think it would be interesting to find out how the fairy type is implemented. Okay, we've got electrical surge. I think this is a U ability or a U move. Yes, mate. Oh my gosh. Now that sounds cool. Robin. Yes, this is a full evolutionary line. Now we need to talk about a charger bug because when the trailers were first released yesterday, I admit I'll be one of the first people or one of the other people to say I was not over keen on this one. But this one again has grown on me and I can definitely, I really like how they make the transition from Grubbin to this Pokemon here. And actually I think it's kind of cute, I really like its mouthpiece and it does look a bit like a bus. But it is an electric type remember so that could be done deliberately. We'll just have to see. so it's bug electric which is a nice unique typing, I don't think we've seen it before. And this guys. As I posted on social media, I apologise I keep on pausing the video, but I have to say my opinion. This is one of my favourite U Pokemon so far. I will definitely be using it in the U game. I am using it no matter what. I don't care how hard it's going to be to get If I don't think it will be hard. Uh, Bug Electric. And I think I love it because of the typing. Okay, so we've got Pop Leo here. Rowlet. Hey, it looks like you move as well. Okay. Grandpa. Normal dragon. Okay, sap zipper. We must I must research the abilities so I can talk about them. But one thing I want to say, okay, we're gonna go just slightly back to uh this Pokemon here. Now I have this theory. It is going to sound nuts, but I really am thinking this could possibly be an evolution of Dunsparce. I know it sounds crazy and I know saying to myself hmm it might not be likely but it could be and looking at the name Drampa I mean I know both start with D and that doesn't mean that it's going to be an evolution but it would be amazing if it was and also because of this normal typing I don't believe we've ever seen a normal dragon before and Dunsparce again normal type that might not mean anything. I'm really hoping it might be. Okay. Bruxish. Now, okay, so this, I'm not going to lie, is my least favourite out of them all. Again, it's grown on me a bit, but I think I addressed what bothers me about this Pokemon. I think it's the lips. 
the colouring itself is fine and the colouring I actually like but I think it's the lips that's putting me off but I do like the little flower detail but I really hope that it evolves and that flower becomes more of a part of its body and I love the typing as well the, I love this game so far because it offers so many unique typings or what I see as unique typings that I would, just, would love to see so I'm just going to shut up a little bit Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. One thing. This is my second favourite Pokemon and I love it. it. I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of, um... Oh gosh. Ah! It reminds me of another Pokemon from X and Y. Um, Talonflame's first evolution. I can't believe I forgot. Um, but I love this Pokemon's design. Bug and Fairy, again, the typing's great. I want to see how fairy comes in through the typing. Now this is... Oh gosh, I'm going to try and pronounce this name. Toji Demaru, and it's apparently based off a hedgehog, so this is what we call a Pokemon clone. If you are not aware of what a Pokemon clone is, it's sort of a Pokemon that looks like Pikachu, and so far it's been implemented in every generation since Generation 1 when Pikachu and Raichu appeared. I think Raichu also appeared in the first generation. And then we got Pichu, and then we got Plus One Mining, and then we got Amolga. And what's nice about this, this is, I was joking about this, was they actually had Amolga, one of the other Pikachu clones, battle with it. So it's sort of just to let you know this is going to be a Pikachu clone. But this is another new Pokemon. Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm really looking forward to 25%. Don't know how I'm feeling about this still. So, November 18th, we're getting it on the 23rd in Europe, but I'm thinking about either getting it for Christmas or get, saving up for it myself. If I do save up for it myself, I will play it once and then I will do a walkthrough. But I want to play it through first. So I thought I'd react to the English trailer. We've got given a bit more information than we got from the Japanese trailer because it was in Japanese. We couldn't understand necessarily everything. But I'm, I'm psyched. We've been given such an insane amount of information so far. I mean, we went a long while without getting any information. But to be fair, you know, this is more than worth the wait. And we've still got months to go to the release. And if they stop with the information now, I don't think they will. But if they do stop, actually I'll be fine with it because we've been given so much. But I'm going to end it here. Like the other one, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section below what you think of these new Pokemon, what you want to see their evolutions, like the Braxish fish, I think I pronounced the name right, do you want to see evolution for that? Because I really do, I really feel like it could have a lot of potential. And when you think that um, Pokemon, uh, I'm going to try and find it again so I can actually look up the name. Oh gosh, right. Grandpa, do you think it could be done as fast as this evolution, or do you think it's a completely different Pokemon? So I'll see you guys today again for Zoo Tycoon, and I'll see you guys Tuesday for the next Pokemon video, unless we get given more information, then I'll make a new video. So I'll see you guys then.